Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys for everyone. It's beautiful whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi today walking the beach in Phuket talking about Bitcoin blockchain and live some news, some Bitcoin price, and some something really weird that I saw and I just want to give my opinion about. So let's quickly jump into the first part. The first part is of course always the charts. Bam. This is the four hour chart guys. On the four hour chart we can see uh, that we reached a beautiful high of 28.5k and uh, we need to find support now around 27.5 if we hold that support perfectly we can bounce up again if we don't hold that support we can drop to 26.5k uh, as long as we stay above 25k i am very happy i'm a happy man in phuket thailand if we stay above 25k now guys the weekly close what I was at 28k which is a beautiful weekly close because we closed, bam, you can see in this chart, above the 200 weekly moving average. Now you can see the new candle opened, which is red at the moment. That candle should be green as well, hopefully at the end of, uh, of this week, Sunday. Uh, if this candle can close above the 200 weekly moving average, that is very, very, very positive for Bitcoin. So I'm really hoping for that. And we as a community, don't start to freak out and sell our Bitcoins. You take profit at 28K. Well, you should only take the profit at around 50, 60, 100K and not $2, but to stable coins. Why not $2? Because the governments are slowly closing in on all the on and off ramps to crypto, which means it will become more difficult for you to buy Bitcoin through an exchange with your bank account or with cash because they will make it illegal to do OTC deals. And that's the on ramp, how to buy Bitcoin. The off ramp is how you do you exchange your Bitcoins back to dollars or the euros. I prefer not to use that off ramp. Of course, sometimes I do OTC and I sell some Bitcoins for Thai Baht and I live my life over here, but I prefer to pay directly with Bitcoin. So mostly I'm paying flights, rents, and all this stuff directly with Bitcoin and the off-ramps I only use to do groceries if I can't use my debit cards because that's also a beautiful solution um, to spend your crypto. Crypto.com, tap here. Yeah, you will find the links down below the video. Just get one of these cards and you can spend Bitcoins all over the world where Visa or MasterCard is accepted. It is a step in between, but at the end it will lead to mass adoption and people to understand Bitcoin. And that is why I'm supporting these kinds of steps. Then I got a question in my mail a couple of days ago and the question was Didi, how do I earn free Bitcoins? There's a lot of possibilities to earn free coins. You can, you can start to work for Bitcoin and it's not really free because then you're investing time. But there's even games. There is a game manufacturer, it's called Thunder. Uh, Thunder, he creates Bitcoin games. You can find them in the App Store, T-H-N-D-R. Uh, they have, for example, the Bitcoin version of Blocks, the Bitcoin version of Snakes, the Bitcoin version of Bubble, the Bitcoin version of solitaire all kinds of bitcoin games that you just need to play and you can win of course you will see some commercials here and there in between but it doesn't matter because you can win sets just by playing those games that you're already playing and if you don't want to play let your kids play all day long those games instead of the games that way they can can't win bitcoin because now they can win sets by playing these games there's also a website free bitcoin and then uh, it is free bit co dot in uh, that side also give you the possibility to to win uh, free bitcoins every day and then when you bitcoin and then when you have won those bitcoins you can even even uh, gamble them and try to double them or lose them really cool solution there as well free bitcoin dot in like yeah just like i said already now so that's two free solutions to earn some bitcoin uh, use the games or use that website i'm not being paid to shell those i'm just loving those because i gave them to my kids as well and they are playing those games as well to earn and stack some sets now the coolest thing i saw today was that i saw a bet of one million dollar that bitcoin would surpass one million us dollar per bitcoin within 90 days it was a tweet i will post a tweet because i forgot the complete name of this guy who did the, the bet somebody offered somebody said you can i want to bet one million dollar that the us dollar will never have hyperinflation and then i think the bet that became came out of that was yes i'm willing to take that bet i'm going to tell you that bitcoin will reach one million us dollar within 90 days and if i lose the bet you can keep the million if i win the bet i will keep that bitcoin something like that a really strange bet but it got a lot of traction on social media because it did make people think about, wow, can Bitcoin really go to a million in 90 days? And the reason for this would be a very quick hyperinflation of the US dollar. So that would mean that the US dollar in the next 90 days would start a huge run in hyperinflation and then bam, 
the system could be over in a split of a second, and bam, yes, Bitcoin, one Bitcoin could be worth one million US dollar. And I think the reason that he was claiming that there could be a hyperinflation is that if the Fed keeps raising everything, then at the end, and they start to print again, okay, the dollar will be collapsing within those 90 days. The whole banking system is already collapsing. Banks are being bought over by other banks, but those banks will have problems as well. I think UBS is buying Credit Suisse, and I think some other banks are bought by other banks again. So they are playing a big game, but to be able to keep uh, liquid, they need to have new money. So <clears throat> there needs to be a shitload of printing for those banks to be able to buy other banks. So that could lead to hyperinflation, and that hyperinflation could lead to the complete devaluation of the dollar against Bitcoin, and which could mean that the Bitcoin, one Bitcoin, would be worth uh, one million US dollar. Great bet. Uh, I, I think I retweeted this. So if you want to see it, then go to my Twitter and uh, read the tweet. But that crazy idea of the bet leads me into the next thing. I tweeted today that great minds, they discuss ideas. Average minds, they discuss events. And the small minds, they discuss people. Now, I think it's very important for me to always be surrounded with people that discuss events or that discuss ideas and not that discuss people. Because, you know, I don't have anything against small minds however you want to call it, but I just don't feel happy when I'm surrounded with people that only talk about other people. There is nothing in it for me, you know, it's nice to say, oh, I was not that guy's birthday, it was beautiful, and that's it. But why would you even start to discuss what he does, what he believes, what he thinks, how he reacts, that's, that's all like irrelevant to me. For me, it's way more important to discuss that event. It was a beautiful birthday, there was good food, we had so many happy people there, it was a lovely thing, uh, I would do it again and again and again. Or, on that birthday, we had an amazing idea, we want to start a new company, you know, that is the thing that I would prefer to discuss. I would prefer to be surrounded by great minds that want to di discuss ideas. How can we change the future? How do we create a blockchain city? How do we improve the Bitcoin adoption? All that stuff, create ideas that gets me running, that gets me a lot of energy that gives me all the passion that I have now at the moment to be doing these videos every time again and again because I do surround myself with that kind of people. I prefer to experience in life. I prefer to have my family experience beautiful stuff in life. That's way more important for me than uh, the accumulation of materialistic stuff that I can't even take with me to Thailand or to Portugal or to the next country we will go to. Why would I want to own that shit if I can only use it and have the experience of driving it? For example, a Lamborghini. I don't need to own it. I can just have the experience of driving it once or twice on a street where I can really drive like two, three hundred kilometers per hour and not have it here in Phuket where I can only drive 50 kilometers per hour because there is no use case for a Lamborghini if you can only drive 50 kilometers per hour. So why own it if you can just experience it? So for me, I would be, I would prefer to be surrounded by people that, that prefer experiences and people that prefer to discuss ideas instead of people that discuss about people. But that's my opinion, you know, everybody is different. I think I will leave it to that. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, let me know down below what do you think about the charts? What do you think about the future on and off ramps for Bitcoin? And what is your solution? What do you think about the free Thunder games? Maybe if you're bored, just play them and just check them out. I'm not being paid, I just love to play them myself as well. I prefer blocks to be honest at the moment. I'm playing a shitload of bots. I'm even making records over there. What do you think about that $1 million bet that Bitcoin will go to a million dollar in the next 90 days let me know do you believe that bitcoin could do that could reach one million dollar per bitcoin within the 90 days and also let me know what do you think about that quote and do you experience the same that when you surround yourself with different kinds of people that you feel more energy and more passion for life let me know down below thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again bam